it comes with the territory with my job. Okay, so I want to tell you that it's um, snowing right now, and as a hospice chaplain, I have to travel in all kinds of weather. So we just got the notification that it's snowing in a city near us, and that's actually the city that I have to go to. So I just wanted you to know um, that I'm about to travel out. I'm hungry and it's cold up oh, I actually see this the flurries right now but I am um, getting in my car and I'm about to go see um, a patient this patient isn't doing too well right now but I'm gonna go check on them check on the family and make sure they are okay and um, offer presents it's something that I do every day and make sure that Anyone who is dealing with any anticipatory grief, any questions about death and what's going on, I'll be there to support. So this is just something that um, it comes with the territory with my job. Um, all weather, all inclements, <laughs> um, all inclement weather. And um, I don't like the cold, let me just say that, but you got to do what you got to do, right? All right, I'll talk with you later. You can see it is actually snowing and I'm gonna get out in just a few minutes so you can see <laughs> it's really snowing and I live on the East Coast not up north I live in Virginia so we don't get snow that much and it's like I'm surprised but I'm not surprised because they said we were gonna get snow but we usually don't but it's actually sticking so we'll see Okay, so as you can see, it is snowing very well. Um, I just pulled up to one of the facilities. Um, <laughs> about to walk in. And um, I don't know what to expect. Yeah, it's snowing real good. I, don't, I think y'all can see this, it's snowing really good. Don't know what to expect. I don't really know who's here, but um, I'm gonna offer support, okay? And I'll be back, of course, for HIPAA reasons. I cannot bring my camera into this facility. I want to make sure I protect the families and the patients' rights. And out of respect, of course, I don't want to lose my job either. So there will be no filming. All right. I also want you to know that no two days are exactly alike in the life of chaplaincy. And so I must brace myself each day for whatever I may face. As a minister of the gospel, I offer support in the form of prayer, presence, exploring spiritual strengths, funeral planning, and even communion. Can you sit in awkward silence? Can you contemplate? Can you be present? Can you be emotionally available and let a person know, I'm here with you? And no, I don't have all the answers, but I'm here with you. And just like I'm here with you, God is with you. Um, knowing that I deal with death and dying on a daily basis, um, I have to stay prayed up. I have to ask God to give me strength. I have to learn how to be quiet. And what I mean quiet, just sit in silence as awkward as it may be, not have to offer advice or explanation or any type of answer for anything, but just sitting with people. And that's one of the hardest things that people have to deal with with this type of ministry sitting in a time and a period that is awkward that may be confusion it may hurt but can you sit in a time where you really don't want to be uncomfortable it is very hard for people especially in a day like today where we have so many distractions a hospice chaplain as i've already stated because of hipaa I will not reveal any of the identities of the people that I'm working with. I want to uphold and honor um, their confidentiality. So any questions for me personally about the day in the life of a chaplain, what I experience, what it's like, um, knowing that I deal with death and dying on a daily basis. 
for really reflecting and thinking about the reality of both life and death. 